Yo, P, what up? Yeah, I'm here right now, dog. Listen, I got a grater in my hand. I'm shaving ginger as we talk. This curry's popping. Just, just throw on a ski mask and come eat some. Yo, is there a ski mask on the premises? Mayhem Loren in the building. Welcome me back. This is not your traditional curry chicken because the age old debate, what's better, a uh, Jamaican curry chicken or a Thai curry chicken? Now this is somewhere in the middle. Phase one, chicken breast, chicken thighs. We're spreading this out now. We're gonna season. Start with a little of this kryptonite, a little salt. This is a spicy Jamaican curry. You know what is it is? I'm a late night curry person. When you have curry in the dark, your life changes. I use cayenne in almost everything I cook. Don't judge me. It's olive oil, you know. See, season one side of the chicken. We have to flip the chicken. Color's important. If you don't like the look of what you eat, it's like it just doesn't even really matter what it tastes like. Make sure you roll your lime. Make sure your lime reaches its potential. Don't just cut it and say, oh, there's no juice in here. You want to let this sit in the lime. You want this to marinate for about 20 minutes. I'm going to let this sit for a second. As we get started, the basis of uh, most of my recipes are garlic and olive oil. I ain't doing any push-ups today. I'm falling off. I'm not the man I once was. You hear that crunch? Oh, yeah. I think I cook better when Bernardo's in the room. Bernardo's filming right now, and uh, at some point during this uh, how-to, I am gonna pull Bernardo from behind the camera, and Bernardo will sample some of the food. Now, do you see what's going on? The party's about to get started. The garlic's browned, pretty much. We're gonna drop the chicken directly on top. That's the sound that you wanna hear. That's just like an amazing sizzle. Let's say you come from a well-off family that buys you a house and all you have to do is pay the maintenance, and it's like 600 bucks. If you fuck that up, you're an idiot. You know what I mean? So, this is kind of similar to that. Look at that yellow, it's like a little pot of gold right here. At this point, we're gonna add a little chicken stock to it. Chicken stock, chicken broth, chicken juice, chicken soda, whatever you wanna call it. Well, I never heard anyone call it chicken soda ever in my life. While this is going on, and we're gonna play with these herbs. You don't wanna go too crazy with the rosemary because rosemary is a very strong flavor. You just wanna dash of rosemary to just blend in. It's kinda like if you do music, right? It's like an ad lib right now. Yeah. Or like a, uh-huh, okay. But it's not, it's not the whole song, really. We wanna dice this up fine also. Next step is the time. I'll go heavy on the time. You know why time is just important, man. It, it's really all, all that we have, and we can never really get it back. I'm sorry, sometimes I get deep. We, got, we have to add more ginger. Bernardo, I need you back. Look at this cilantro. You can never go wrong with fresh herbs, period. After this meal, I might lay down, take my shirt off, and put fresh herbs on my chest. Don't question it, just know that I'm doing the right thing. We'll take a handful. Now, nah, this, this could definitely win the beauty version. We gotta enhance it go a little deeper right now. Here comes the coconut milk. And that's basically one of my favorite things about Thai curries is the fact that they use coconut milk. A lot of Jamaican curry doesn't have coconut milk. And it's a whole other level of enhancement. Jerk seasoning, which is not a traditional ingredient in curry at all. But one time I, was, I planned on making a curry and I had lack, a lack of ingredients. So that's when you play with things and see how things work out. And I fell in love with the outcomes. Three spoonfuls. So right now, we're gonna put a top on this. Lower the flame a little bit. Let this chill. And I'll prepare some vegetables to put in at the end. Put about a half onion in there. I'm getting little pieces of carrot on my sweater, but you wouldn't even notice. They just camouflage and blend in so well. Potatoes are good too because you see there's a, a large amount of juice here that soaks up some of it. We all like a good thickening agent. And basically the party's over. I'm gonna take the, the top off of this pot in uh, 10, 15 minutes and we'll be good. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make some chickpeas. First ingredient, half stick of butter. Let that melt, let that melt slow. Throw a little onion in there, a little salt. 
And since this is a family affair, and we're all friends here, we're gonna borrow from our neighbor. You might have been thinking the whole time, oh my God, there's so much broth. There's so much juice. What is he doing? There's always a reason. We're gonna spice these chickpeas up a little bit. Take a habanero. Half, cut, cut the habanero in half. Habanero's powerful. This, this is about a, I don't know, a six, seven, like, I like things spicy, but I'm, I'm always know that people can enhance spice as they want, so being that this is a family affair. So we're turning that off. We'll just let it sit. All right, it's time for the uh, curry chicken unveiling ceremony. Simply you just take the lid off the pot, grab ourself a nice ration, make sure we have potatoes and carrots. So look at this, look at this. Damn, it looks like there's room for one more thing on this plate. What could be missing? And here we have a tray of green macaroni and cheese has magically appeared. A half-eaten tray. So you know what's good. A good corner. Put a little of this right on top. If you know me, you know I love my cilantro. Question of the day, do you eat this or do you frame it and put it on the wall? This is ridiculous. Hands down, one of the best curries I've made. Um, I don't want to seem like I'm just tooting my own horn, so Bernardo, come here and try this. Now, don't worry, man, you're good for camera. Get camera ready, go in. You can even take a spoon if you want, so you can get it all. I might lie to you, but Bernardo would never lie to me, so. Are we popping? Good, yeah, good. Thank you. You want to talk about incredible pairings? Trust me, baked mac and cheese, curry chicken will change your life.